productive gardening, especially in areas where rainfall is lacking, must consider an irrigation system that is low cost, simple, and requires low maintenance. An irrigation system that conserves water, energy, and thus time and money. I am talking about a low pressure gravity drip irrigation system. Low pressure provides slow water trickles to plant root directly, which greatly reduce water loss to evaporation and runoff. The gravity drip system is versatile also for use with other secondary source of water such as collected rainfall. Now let's build a barrel system that will provide low pressure for a drip irrigation. These are the tools that you need. Drill, 7-8 wood drill, one a quarter steel drill, wrench that fit half inches of CPVC, hacksaw, pipe cutter, sand sander or also you can use a rotary sander if you have. The material you need are 32 gallon trash can with the lid, 32 gallon enough height for water pressure for a small garden it will provide enough water for about a half inches or so other part that you may need uh, you need is a uh, half inches a male adapter CPVC female adapter half inches CPVC and number 16 o-ring The CPVC cement, ball valve, CPVC is a half inches, zip tie, three quarter inches um, PVC that you will cut to make a washer, a quarter of inch thickness. A half inches CPVC that you will cut to make a half inches nipples or connectors like this. These are also um, a five eight inches tubing is um, light duty. You don't need heavy duty because it's all low pressure anyway, so you don't need to. And you can cut that from a. You can buy a, a fifty footers. Uh, um, 50 footers uh, hose that you can use it also for lateral. Let's prepare the um, uh, uh, PVC washer that I m uh, mentioned before. So this is how I do it. Just um, run your machine. before the water actually uh, dislodge from the blade because it can fly into the container down so this one I can just uh, peel off like this and using my tube cutter I can uh, smooth out that um, smooth out that edge carefully not to cut your hand finger and like so uh, voila you can uh, you have that washer now let's first assemble the spigot for our um, barrel. So you cut this tube to make a nipple. It's very simple. Just kind of roll it. There you go. About a couple of inches. And so forth. Sometimes it flies so you have to snap it very carefully. Now you can take a, a CPVC cement and um, uh, lightly you can just touch it. You don't need a primer for this because the role is just to not to get it uh, dislodged from the um, 
from the adapter side okay now this is for the ball just twist a little bit so it snap and push in all the way so you can see it's like this and do the same thing for the other one just touch on it there is no need too much just a little bit and slide that back in and kind of twist so you can see it's a snug tight there and the third one is for the female side of the um, the spigot that we're gonna use it later there you go, twist it again so it's not there there you can see from inside that some of the glue now you can see that we have uh, we have uh, enough uh, for the spigot and with this with this um, with this uh, ring you slide into this that you cut already from a uh, from this pipe so just uh, put that in there in there tight and you have a spigot uh, part for the barrel you can see this all will be inserted to the barrel and now you can also insert this to uh, for the uh, the ball valve this ball uh, valve is op optional you can use it with or without the ball valve but uh, if you need to, uh, to have a certain amount of water that you don't want to drain all barrel uh, uh, then you, you need a valve to shut off the water from the barrel make it tight enough, it's not going to be too tight because you remember these are a low pressure there you go, you can uh, it's ready, you can connect the barrel with the hose to uh, the spigot later, uh, it just interface with the hose, this hose cutter uh, um, you can cut this with a hose cutter, so it's very easy. Okay. You need to uh, send the female side of the um, adapter because what happened is there is a lot of lettering here. Uh, manufacturer from uh, the way the manufacturer manufactured this female, they put a lot of lettering here and description of the female uh, uh, adapter. So you need to send that so it is smooth. You can run it through a um, um, rotary sander, like so. Okay, make sure all of the make sure that all of the lettering is gone and then smooth. Connect your seven eight wood drill to your driller and drill the barrel about two to three inches from the bottom of the barrel. Now uh, uh, carefully drill that such way it will flush. There. Now take that spigot, uh, spigot that we have assembled. Now with this like this or with another kind of ratchet uh, uh, a wrench, you can just then slide that through under, from under and put the o-ring first, you see this, these are the o-ring put the o-ring on top of it and the male, you can twist it in but not touch, you can tighten it from inside put it from inside just to uh, there Okay, now you don't tie it from outside, you tie it from inside. So you take this, and with another hand, you tie them up. You can see, now it is a little spigot with a rubber washer in it. So you can see there's nothing buckle, it's smooth, it's ready to be used. Now what you need is just to put the lid on because you need to have the lid to avoid sediment or particles get in the barrel. On top of it, make it snug as you would prefer. Make it snug and carefully watch where you can build it. Go forward. There. One. 
and make another one two you take the zip tie and before you take the lid out put the zip tie first now this zip tie then will function like a hinge for it not all the way just uh, light, slightly there so actually it can now it function like a hinge now you can clip this uh, with a, a nail clipper or with that hose cutter in the field uh, you can connect uh, the lateral to a soccer line you can cut that and use remember that uh, these are half inches CPVC uh, nipple or connector that we made earlier connect to one of those there and you can then the other one connect to the 5.8 soaker line soaker hose like this so essentially there you go these are the pressure water pressure here connected to the lateral line and then from the lateral line um, uh, maybe uh, um, anywhere uh, along this lateral line you can connect the soaker hose or drip emitter line just like shown here this emitter line you see this uh, emitter line it has holes in it this emitter line uh, is one quarter emitter line you can uh, connect that uh, lateral immediately to or uh, directly to the uh, emitter line as here so along the um, lateral line you can punch the you can punch this with a nail or the cell solo puncher and insert an elbow like this or a T like this if you want if you then from one point you have two hoses coming out and like this this is a T but one here I plug it with a screwdriver okay you can buy a, a, a goof plug that you can plug that but uh, another alternative is to buy a bunch of uh, screwdriver and tie them up as a plugger and also this, uh, uh, if it is a stainless steel you can adjust it and then it, it also function like a emitter as well you, um, you can adjust the tightness of that screw to the amount of flow you want to drip out of that uh, end so what end of this uh, emitter line can be used can be plugged or can be used as a meter um, as shown here in the end um, here you can plug it with a screwdriver stainless steel if you want to be a submitter or just use uh, this plug to plug it like so so you can see now then you have uh, a, a complete system that you can use in the field whether you use soaker hose one quarter inch drip tubes or drip lines connect it to the uh, lateral and the water source a low pressure water source and now we can go to the field and see an example of how it works shown here is an application of a low pressure graffiti drip irrigation system using the constructed barrel in a neighborhood roundabout first fill the barrel with water Here, an elbow is inserted to the lateral line using a one quarter inch blank polyline and a T. Three one quarter inch emitters were looped around a recently planted tree, and you see how the drip trickle very slowly. <laughs> 